the, the future brain may be one that's seamlessly connected to technology. We may have little sensors on our heads so that if you want to meet someone for coffee, you just think about it. And that thought is beamed wirelessly to your friend. You can sip your coffee and you don't even have to talk. You could just beam your thoughts to each other. And what we found, people who had never searched online before, their brain was activated during the book reading task in areas you'd expect, but it didn't look any different when they were searching online. Very similar pattern. Frontal lobe, visual cortex, and so forth. People who are internet savvy look very much the same reading the book, but a huge difference when they searched online. More than twofold greater activation throughout the brain, and especially the front part of the brain, the thinking brain that controls decision making. So here's your brain on a book, and here's your brain on Google. There's a tendency to judge it and to think that this is bad. Many times parents and educators will complain, how can my kids do their homework if they're text messaging, I am and listening to their iPods at the same time? My answer is, how are they doing in their grades? It's a different world today. They have to learn how to deal with the technology. The technology train is way out of the station, is charging down the track. The question is, how are we going to adapt and how are we going to improve our lives?